This week on The Wine Travelers, we're in the Northern Rhone, finishing off the Syrah harvest in San Joseph. After that, we head off to an incredible winemaker's dinner at the Michelin-rated Hotel Bellevue. <laughs> This week's the wine travelers are going to be finishing off the small and 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 Join us on the ultimate food and wine adventure, the Wine Travelers. The last load of grapes is brought in by tractor to be crushed. The winemakers take great care to pick out bunches that are damaged or moldy. From the crusher, the grapes are pumped into the fermentation tanks. I love this time of the year. Love the smell of ferment. Here they will spend a few weeks fermenting. Edouard uses all his senses in the winemaking process. But you have no, no, no fermentation actually, the yeast doesn't work yet. So it's the fruit juice. Uh, listen, you know, I was a... Uh, um, Tongue is fermenting. How fast is fermenting on that? And uh, the touch, because you can feel, you know, even you have to check when you get the habit, the temperature. While there's plenty of modern machinery around, Edouard still uses traditional methods. That's great to see. Huh? The cup is moving. It's like a. This serene is from his friend Laurent's vineyard and it goes into making his Serenade wine. What is nice is to uh, what you handle. You know? how, how do you know when you're done? Voila, it's done. <laughs> and, you, <laughs> and you come back at midnight to do it now. <laughs> yeah, 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 you wake me up. Yeah, all right. How many hours a day do you, uh, are you putting in now? It depends on the day, sometimes it's 8-10 uh, hours, sometimes it's 16-18, uh, it depends. You know? so. How about today? Today was quite quite nice, we only start 7 this morning, and it's 4.30 at least. But it depends on what you are doing uh, tonight for dinner. <laughs> We are all very hungry after our long day at the vineyards and at the winery, and tonight's dinner at the Hotel Bellevue promises to be very special. The Hotel Bellevue, where we are staying, occupies a lovely position on the Rhone just across from the village of Condrieu. It is owned and operated by Alain Paré's cousin, Jean, and his wife, Josine. Lucky for us, Jean's cooking enjoys a formidable reputation. Duck. Rich in history and steeped in several gastronomic traditions, the food of the Northern Rhone is a combination of country and elegant. Tonight, we are treated to the elegant version. The best thing about having dinner with a winemaker is there's no shortage of wine. We start with a typical French pre-appetizer, the amuse-bouche. Our starters are paired up with a pure Marsan, a white grape usually used as a blending grape with Syrah wines, but here it's excellent all on its own. You were not welcome, but because you are there now, we have to deal with. So <laughs> enjoy your trip. <laughs> Back in the kitchen, Jean is sculpting our main courses. The wines of the Northern Rhone, which are tannic and acidic, require special attention when pairing with food. I've ordered the beef manicotti, which actually turns out to be heart of beef. It's layered with foie gras and a Syrah reduction. 
Also in France, sauce is an important element of the dish as it often marries the flavors of the food and the wine together. <laughs> Edouard and Alex are having the filet of bass with roasted autumn vegetables. It's covered with a creamy white wine sauce and finished with a sprinkle of fresh parsley. The French are legendary for their duck dishes, and Ali is having sautéed peaches soaked in wine on top of a creamy risotto, which is topped with a crispy seared filet of duck. This is then topped off with roasted Syrah grapes and a red wine reduction. Finally, Joel has wisely chosen an outrageously gorgeous concoction. A bed of petite morels and roasted vegetables are laid down. These are graced with a large ravioli stuffed with lobster. On top of this, Jean drizzles lobster saffron sauce and finishes it all off with a dash of oil of crustacean. Still no. Voila! Dinner is served. Uh, uh, that's a roche coupe, you know, the French label for the roche coupe quality. And the roche coupe is a crazy video. <laughs> With our main courses, we have Syrah from Roche Corb, and we also enjoy a serine grown by Edouard's friend Laurent. It's actually the same serine that Edouard was fermenting back in the open barrels that we saw earlier at the winery. Spicy, definitely this one is more fat, more rich, more soft, and in very elegant. The Syrah is spicy with peppery tannins. The serene is round, soft, and full. Just beyond our window, the barges of the Rhone drift by. After the main course comes the cheese course, which in France is always spectacular. Alors en fromage, vous avez le Saint-Marcelin, le Saint-Félicien, la rigote de Condrieux sec ou fraîche, vous avez la tome de Savoie, de la brocolie des, des Pyrénées, du d'Écosse. Ok. Uh, I want to make sure you were listening. Can you please repeat that? Eight centuries of mold culture on a plate. Santé, ok. Santé. C'est Notre Dame de Paris. This is the French way. Santé. Perhaps something lost in translation. Yeah. Yeah. And for the grand finale, we have massive desserts, as if we needed more food. Chef Jean's son is a dessert master. Oh, we can say artist in dessert. <laughs> Even by the end of our trip through Europe, this will stand out as one of the most amazing meals we had. When we return, we'll visit a goat cheese farm and taste more wine. Only here on The Wine Travelers.